everybody, it's Megan as always. I hope all of you are doing well. Today, I have to say, is going to be a fun day. We are going to be going over the very best six Louis Vuitton bags to buy for the year 2022. For any of you guys that may be interested, I happen to be wearing these Louis Vuitton Louis hoop earrings that I love so very much. I have them in the silver as well, although I don't know why Louis Vuitton discontinued the silver. I love the gold even more. If any of you guys are interested in these, they are linked within the description box below. To everybody that has subscribed to my channel, I greatly thank you. If you enjoy this video or perhaps you've seen me before or have thought about subscribing and have not yet, I kindly ask you to do so by clicking on that subscribe button you see located right down there below on your screen. Also by clicking that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. To all of you guys that watched my last video, which was my Louis Vuitton most exciting unboxing haul I've ever done thus far on my channel, I questioned whether or not I should keep a Speedy 20 that was in the black, pink, and white on prompt leather. Well, there is an update, and by the way, I appreciate all of your feedback. This little kitty decided to come home with mommy and stay with mommy. <laughs> She's absolutely beautiful. Really, I adore the khaki. Obviously, I kept the khaki, but this is an entirely different look. I don't even think it can be compared to the khaki. They're so very different. And the real reason I was doubting whether or not I should keep this gorgeous bag was because it was such a tumultuous ride to get this bag. My order was canceled. It was very, very difficult to even know if this bag was going to be shipped to me after reordering through client services, which I was very blessed to be able to do so. And when I think about it, it was miraculous that I even reached him and he went out of his way to get this bag for me. Hey you guys. Okay, so it's very hot today in California. It's about 95 degrees outside. All I can say is the top is going down in that convertible. That's a fact. <laughs> but I wanted to show you this bag and wearing it for the very first time can you tell I'm in a good mood I wore pink lipstick to match the pink on the sides but it's not overkill it's just the lipstick but I love it so very much this speedy 20 ah oh, so pretty in the empreinte leather with the black on the front pink on the sides and white on the back and I really just love how I can turn this bag around and have an entirely different bag it's amazing I'm so glad that I listened to my intuition and this bag has stayed within my collection I cannot wait to use her this spring and summer She's absolutely beautiful, and again, thank you guys for your input as to whether or not I should keep her. Whether you said yes or no, I appreciate your feedback. So let's get right into the six best Louis Vuitton bags to buy for 2022. I'm going to start off with a bang with a bag that took me over two months to obtain, but was well worth it. And I think you guys would adore it as well. I'm speaking of the gorgeous, speedy, 20. This bag comes in at a price of $2,030. Do I think it's worth it for this little bag? Absolutely yes. The reason I think it's worth it is A, as a lot of you guys know, the Speedy Classic Canvas is a very iconic and classy bag that has withstood the test of time for many, many decades. It will stay in very high fashion style for many years to come, if not indefinitely forever. As you can see, I have my Speedy 20 with me with the strap that I thought that I wouldn't like. When I received it, I initially tried it on and I didn't have high expectations, but when I actually tried it on, I thought it looked really, really cute actually in a very modern way for the Speedy. And actually, most importantly, I am loving the size of this bag. It's absolutely perfect, it fits all of your necessities plus more. And what I really love about it is the fact that you can change the straps so very easily. It'd be one thing if you could not detach the straps, but you can. You can easily use a strap from, say for example, if you happen to own a monogram Speedy Bandolier. And yay, I absolutely love it as a crossbody. You guys can see it fits at a very good length. I think it's perfect on my body. Or if you have the pochette Matisse, here it is as a crossbody. Here it is as I envisioned, and I'm very, very happy with it. I love the length. I love where it hits on my body. It's absolutely wonderful, but I have to reiterate, you guys, it helps tremendously that I like the original strap that came with this bag because I am able to wear it over the shoulder for a very modernized look and then have the versatility to wear this strap. 
There's a wonderful company, Organize My Bag, that sells Vachetta straps. Also not sure if you guys noticed, I do have this chain extender on, which looks very beautiful with the hardware. Reason is, this strap is just too, too short for me to wear as a crossbody. So now I have it on with the chain extender. You guys can see the chain extender is in the back. If I wanted to change that around, obviously I could, but I'm so much more comfortable wearing this bag with the chain extender just because obviously it falls at a length that I'm very, very comfortable with. So I am loving the fact that I can add length to this bag in a very beautiful and elegant way where this hardware matches the gold hardware. It's really a win-win and makes me feel so much better about having this strap and enjoying this strap. If you guys are interested in a chain extender or perhaps one of those Vachetta straps from Organize My Bag, please visit Organize My Bag, enter the code LVLUXDELIGHT10 and you will receive 10% off your order. So I wanna go ahead and give you guys an idea what fits in this gorgeous Speedy 20 besides the aesthetics of this bag. It's really what fits in it that makes all the difference for me because the size is so, so cute and it really does fit quite a bit in my opinion. I'll go ahead and show you guys. I also have these two little cuties out just in case any of you guys happen to have one or are thinking about getting one. These Speedy 20 and the Emprunt versions. Louis Vuitton also sells a plain black Emprunt version. Basically anything that fits in the canvas version of the Speedy 20 will fit in any version of the Speedy 20, including these on prompt ones. So I'll go ahead and start off with something that I like to bring with me all the time, which are my sunglasses. And I do have sunglasses in there. So I'll go ahead and stick that in there like so. And then I always bring around with me my mini pochette. Love it. This one's structured, the rose gold vernis. And it's a good thing that it's structured because I don't have anything in there, although I might as well because it is so structured. I love this piece, you guys. I'll go ahead and stick that in there. Also, not sure if you guys are like me, but I do like to bring my phone around with me. This is my husband's phone. This is a Samsung Note 20. It is one of the biggest on the market. So let's stick that in there. My Victorian wallet. I love it. This is my favorite from Louis Vuitton. Stick that in there as well. And why not? Okay, I definitely need <laughs> my four key holder. We can stick that in there like so. So far when I pick up the bag, it's not heavy at all, and I feel like I might be able to fit something else in there, so let's try. Perhaps the toiletry 15. Maybe this is too much of a stretch, but let's go ahead and try, just for the heck of it. And I think that, I just need to move this phone, it will fit. Let's see, yes it does, yay. That's actually amazing to me because it's either a mini pochette or a toiletry 15 that I carry with me, not both. I don't need both, but that's great that it fits inside. And how about the key pouch? This is a great piece. I love using it for holding perfume samples, although I do put them in a dust bag. So let's stick this in here and see if we can actually get this thing zipped up. So I'll go ahead and try to do this with one hand and it's working, I think so. I definitely don't see any zigzag in the zipper. That's a good thing. And yes, you guys, it definitely fits all of my items. So that was quite a bit. So I arranged all items so you could see what fits in this Speedy 20. I don't know, you guys, if you agree with me, but I happen to think that's quite a bit for a small bag. And I know it would take up a lot of room, but I was curious to see the Cosmetic Pouch PM in case any of you guys have this and would like to see if it fits inside. It definitely does, and there is a lot of room to spare. So I think I made the point, you guys. This does fit quite a bit. I might have been able to even fit this card holder, which I love, by the way, in the Speedy 20 as well. So I hope that gives you guys a good idea as to what fits inside. I love the canvas version so very much. And something else that's worth pointing out is the upgraded hardware in comparison to other Speedies. You get the very shiny hardware with this bag. You also get the extended zippers on the side. Very nice feature. And what I really love that differentiates this bag from other Speedies is the interior color, which is, I think you guys can see, ah, oh, it's so, so pretty. This gorgeous, Red color, I mean, really, could Louis Vuitton have done any better? I don't think so. I'm loving the red against the monogram. I am loving the red against this beautiful, shiny hardware. It's really just everything. So for those reasons, I do believe this Louis Vuitton Speedy 20 canvas version, or if you would like other versions as well, it's just my personal opinion that the canvas is the best, does make the list for one of the six best Louis Vuitton bags to buy for the year 
year 2022. Next bag up that I'm gonna show you guys is one that was released, I do believe, earlier this year. I love it. I have a collection version, but I admit I would definitely buy the canvas version if I didn't get my hands on this one. I am speaking of the gorgeous Loop bag. There are several reasons I put this as one of the best bags to buy from Louis Vuitton 2022, but I think the biggest reason has to do with the aesthetics of the bag, absolutely gorgeous. I am loving this detachable gold chain that comes down right there. I am also loving this strap that comes with the bag. The reason I love it so very much is because it actually extends to three different levels. This is going to be the shortest length and it is meant to wear over the shoulder, which I think is absolutely adorable. And then if you wanted to, you could easily take this strap down so it extends further down. And what I did not know when I ordered this bag was if it would be long enough for me to wear as a crossbody. But you guys can see there is a middle length where you can put this strap. Give me just one sec here. Okay, and here is the middle length. This would be wonderful, I would say, if you're about five, six and under. But what's wonderful for me on the taller side is Louis Vuitton was so nice, so kind, so considerate enough to think of me. <laughs> and they allowed it to go all the way up to here. So it really does work so very perfectly for me as a cross body. So what I love about this bag, besides the gorgeous look of it, is the fact that you will be able to wear this bag, no matter what your height may be, at a very comfortable length. Another thing that's so wonderful about this bag is what it fits inside. Now it does seem a bit small, and it is a bit small. By the way, don't you just love that reverse denim? So, so pretty. <laughs> but this will easily fit your necessities, and when I say necessities, I do mean a packed mini pochette, say for example your phone if you wanted to bring a six or four key holder, and a wallet. That's what I consider my necessities. Bag really is amazing. And again, if I did not have it in the denim version, I would just as easily have it in the canvas version. I think it's beautiful. I think it's very fashion forward. I think it fits all heights and statures, and that's why I love it. And that's also why it does make the list as one of the very best Louis Vuitton bags to buy in 2022. Okay, I'm just going to admit, the next one I have to show you might arguably be, no, is arguably, one of the best Louis Vuitton bags I have in my collection. It's recently added, semi-recently added, to the Louis Vuitton fashion house, this beautiful Passy bag. When I saw this bag in person, I had pre-ordered it. Literally, I remember just staring at the front of this bag and thinking, this is the most gorgeous bag I've ever laid eyes on, especially because of the fact that it was canvas. I was absolutely shocked by that. But yes, you guys, this bag does have the gorgeous LV logo right there. Love the fact that it has the chain with the black leather. A big thing that I love about this bag is this gold with black leather on this chain that matches so very perfectly this logo that has the black and gold hardware. Very, very beautiful. Another thing I love about this bag is the fact that it has a back pocket, which is so very handy when you just wanna slip your cell phone in there. Not sure if you guys are like me, but I like to be able to access my phone at all times. When you go to open up this bag, it has a very, very easy and beautiful magnetic closure. Oh my gosh, you guys, this interior color is just everything. Now I did do a video reviewing the differences between this Passy bag and this gorgeous pochette Matisse that you guys see right here. It's absolutely beautiful, but honestly for 2022, if I had to make the choice between this pochette Matisse and the Passy bag, undeniably I would go with the Passy bag. And another thing too, I should note, I love this bag so, so much that this is the only bag within my collection that I make an exception to the rule for. And when I say that, I am speaking of the strap length because when I want to wear this bag, as a cross body, it comes to a length where it's just not hitting my hip where I would like it to hit. 
but because it's so gorgeous, because it's so beautiful, honestly, it just doesn't bother me. It's too, too pretty, and I actually like it because of the shape where it hits me on my body. It works. So you guys, if you are considering this Passy bag, I am telling you, I love it. It's everything. This bag is nothing short of amazing, and if you happen to look into this bag, maybe take my advice and get this bag, please reach out to me. I'd love to know what you think of this bag. I'd love to hear. You were right, Megan. This bag really is amazing because honestly, I'll say it again, this is arguably one of the very best bags, if not the best bag within my entire Louis Vuitton collection. Let me just say, beside the Speedy, I would say it's second as to the most iconic bag from Louis Vuitton. Here we go, did you guys guess? I am speaking of the gorgeous Alma BB. In this case, the beautiful, newly released in 2022 Demi Arazor canvas. Where do I even begin with this bag and my adoration for it, really? I mean, I love the fact that Louis Vuitton upgraded the handles in such a way that they braided it with this beautiful rose ballerine color and this neutral brown. It has a gorgeous, very buttery slide zipper, by the way, interior with this rose ballerine color. The very best thing about this Elm VB, I think so anyways, I think a lot of you guys know but for those of you that don't, I'll go ahead and tell you, this is not of a Vachetta leather and neither is the strap that it comes with. Rather, it's a leather that will not patina over time. And to me, I like that. I think that is absolutely wonderful. Don't get me wrong, I think patina against Azor is very pretty. But if I were to have it my way, I really just would have it with this beautiful cream color against the Azor. That's exactly what Louis Vuitton delivered with this bag. That's why I'm recommending it for the year 2022. Now this is, I do believe, of a limited collection. So if you wanna get your hands on it, I would try right away. A great way to do that is by stalking the Louis Vuitton website. It doesn't always work, it's not guaranteed, but I'll tell you guys, I have gotten some impossible pieces that way. This is such a wonderful bag. It does come in at a price of $2,160. Gotta mention this Alma BB in the Demira Ben. And what's really wonderful about the Demira Ben canvas, it comes in $400 less expensive than the Demira Zor. This being $1,760 this being $2,160. Really, besides these braided handles, there isn't any difference with the bags. So I highly recommend the Alma BB. Love the versatility. You can wear this tote style all by itself on its own. How cute is that without the strap? And then if you'd like to add the strap, you could definitely wear it over the shoulder or cross body. It's a wonderful bag that offers a ton of versatility, is so very cute looking, so very beautiful looking, and very much in for the year 2022. I apologize for the sun coming in the room, you guys. It's not bothering me. I hope it doesn't bother you. So the next bag that I'm gonna show you, or bags, I should say it's a type of bag to get for 2022, is the beautiful, Louis Vuitton by color bag. As a lot of you guys know, Louis Vuitton has been moving away from canvas, although canvas will always play a huge role within the Louis Vuitton fashion house, into leather. And if you would like to get a bag that offers emprunt leather, which happens to be my favorite leather of all time, I have Saint Laurent bags, Gucci bags, but none of them compare to beautiful emprunt leather. It's so soft and so very supple. So what you get with a bicolor bag is a beautiful emprunt bag that features the beautiful Louis Vuitton logos. I also happen to have, love this color so very much, oh, it's so pretty, this beautiful favorite, the newly revised in the Turtle Dove. How pretty is this? And again, you guys, you are getting a beautiful 
Louis Vuitton look with the emprunt leather. And it's very trendy for the year 2022. And I do believe for many years to come. I have promised you guys an in-depth review on this favorite and I have failed. I have not delivered as of yet, but give me another chance. I promise you it's coming. I'd love to show you what fits inside this bag, but just a little quick sneak peek. It's quite roomy. It features the microfiber material. It's absolutely wonderful. And to get in and out of the bag is such a breeze with this little closure. You guys can tell I did not take the plastic off. I don't like scratches. What can I say? But yes, you guys, for 2022, Louis Vuitton offers a huge array of different bicolor bags that I think you guys would thoroughly enjoy. And by the way, with this bicolor black, you might be thinking that these icons are white. They are actually of a cream color. And again, I'm so glad I remember this. This bag does feature the zipper that extends further down and the upgraded beautiful gold shiny hardware. So I love this bag, can't recommend it enough. Beautiful bags, love the bicolor, highly recommend them for 2022. All right, you guys, this next bag, I look at it and I think to myself, how are you so amazing, really? I am speaking of the newly revised for 2022, <sighs> too, too cute. Speedy Nano that features a detachable and adjustable strap, also pre-aged leather. Right off the bat, this little cutie, emphasis on the word little, it's very small, comes in at a price of $1,760. The original Nano is currently $1,350. That's a $410 difference. And for $410 more, you're not getting more space. That's for sure. But to me, that doesn't matter because of the fact that this bag does lay so flat against my body. I've never owned a Speedy that lays that flat against my body. It's absolutely amazing and extremely comfortable. Hey you guys, I'm on my way to dinner with my husband. I wanna show you the bag that I decided to bring with me. This beautiful Speedy Nano. This is the revised version. Love it so much, you guys. And I have to say, I can't get that new Speedy Nano out of my mind, or I'm sorry, Nano in a way, <laughs> out of my mind. Literally, I'm just obsessed. After getting this bag, I just, it's everything. Dimension wise, this does have a length of 6.3 inches, identical actually to the original Nano, but where the difference comes in is in the height and the width. Because the height of this Nano is 3.9 inches, whereas the height of the original Nano is 4.3 inches. That makes a difference. The width of this particular bag is three inches, the width of the original Nano is 3.5 inches, so you're getting another half an inch in width. That does make a difference as well. My phone fits in perfectly. So a phone is something I would imagine we all would like to carry around with us. With this Speedy Nano, you can get the phone in. It's just going to take a little bit of an angle to get it in like so. As does my six key holder, as does my card holder, as well as the few cosmetics I always carry around with me, which is a mirror or cosmetic case, lipstick and lip gloss. All of those items are able to fit in this comfortably and it is just so cute. As a matter of fact, I was out to dinner with my husband recently, asked him, do you think this little bag is worth $1,760? He just stared at it and basically said, I do. I think it is. It's really cute. <laughs> so that really says a lot that he thinks that. I'd love to say that Louis Vuitton made this bag perfectly, but there is one thing that I think they kind of failed on. I hate to say it, but there is a fix for it and that's wonderful. And that is the fact that this adjustable strap that should be an upgrade to the bag really isn't very adjustable at all. Because like I said, I am five foot eight inches in height. When I wear this as a crossbody, literally, I mean, it comes to about here on my body, where as I said, I like it to hang off my hip. But there is an easy fix for that. You simply use a chain extender, like I mentioned, from Organize My Bag. 
This is the wonderful thing about chain extenders, the fact that bags can be lengthened. So with this chain extender from organizemybag.com, I am able to make this bag longer on my body. And if I want a more low key look as far as the hardware goes, and by the way, the craftsmanship and quality on this hardware is absolutely amazing. But if I wanted to change that around, I could just basically flip the strap onto the other side and the gold would be in the back. But I think it's very cute the way that it looks and it lays where I want it to lay, right here on my hip. So I'm absolutely in love with this chain extender. Game changer for sure. Again, you guys, if you'd like to receive 10% off with Organize My Bag, just enter the code Delight 10 And I should mention, while I'm at it, this beautiful little tab right here that makes it so easy to get in and out of the bag. But just look, I mean, really, I have never had a bag that has such a smooth glide. Look at this. It's absolutely amazing, and I do not cause harm to the bag. The interior of this bag is a brown color. This specific one was made in France. Love it so very much. Love this bag, you guys. What can I say? I really can go on and on with this bag, as well as all of the other bags that I mentioned. So if you guys happen to have any comments or questions on what I consider to be the very best six Louis Vuitton bags to buy for 2022, Please do leave those in the comment section below. I always say it, I mean it with all my heart. I love hearing from you guys. All right, you guys, now's the time within the video where I'm going to completely transition topics from speaking about luxury to speaking about something that's definitely more insightful, meaningful, and inspirational. Today, I'd like to go over a very important message, which is titled, Stay in the Light. Throughout life, we are always going to be encountering situations that can be considered very negative and very stressful. The good news is, no matter what, no matter how dark things may seem, there will always be a light above you. That light is God. That light is protective and that light is always watching over you. It's so important to remember that God is our heavenly father. When we think about parents loving their children and imagine God's love for us as his children, it's a magnitude that we cannot even and comprehend. What's wonderful about being his children is the fact that he always wants the best for us. He's watching us every single moment of every single day. Really, that light is always with you, whether you acknowledge it or whether you don't. And that's the wonderful thing about God. He will never forsake us and he will never leave us. He loves us so very much that he will always be watching when people come against you. I have said it before on my channel because I find it so very wonderful. God says through the Bible about people that come against you unjustly. I will be your vindicator. I will be your lawyer. I will plead your case. How wonderful that is. I can't imagine a better lawyer to have on my side than the creator of this entire universe. When you think about this universe, it goes on forever and ever. It is infinite. Our human minds cannot even comprehend it. So to think that God said he will be our lawyer is the most amazing thing. Because really, when we face stressful situations and things that are unjust, we can just give those situations over to God. Let it be. Let go and let God. He wants to take over those situations. I have learned through personal experience, and I'd like to share with you guys, how it can be easier to stay in God's light, in his presence. When we have that active daily relationship going on with him, we really just feel him so much easier. We don't have to seek him out. And of course, there will be days when we are busy with work or distracted by situations and we don't feel as close to God. That's when it's very important to get close to God again. And a way to do that is to simply pray to him. And a lot of people think that prayer has to be different prayers that you recite. Of course, that's wonderful. But I believe that God loves us to talk to him directly, to speak to him from the heart. That's praying too. He literally wants to take control over the negative situations in your life. And what does it take to do that, to actually give that up? It's hard. It takes faith. 
Faith really is the essence of all things. Without it, we're not able to truly stay in the light. So I urge you guys to stay in the light by having an active relationship with God, working on the active relationship. A wonderful way is simply by talking to him on a daily basis. You can just tell him your cares, tell him your concerns, and have a very faith-filled prayer life. Life is simply too short to not be living it in the best way possible. The best way possible is to stay in God's light. And when we're in that light, it's so much easier to be a forgiving person, to be an empathetic person, sympathetic, caring, forgiving. All of those things will come so much more naturally to you when you stay in the light. And also the bonus of having that active relationship with God by staying in the light is the fact that we'll become better people and who doesn't want to be a happier better version of themselves I know I definitely do so that is what I have to say on the topic of stay in the light if you guys happen to have any comments or questions on the topic I went over and or any comments or questions on what I consider to be the very best six Louis Vuitton bags to buy for 2022 Please do leave those in the comment section below. I hope you guys know by now. I love hearing from you. I thank you if you didn't make it to the end of this video. Until my next, which I'm very, very excited about. It's going to be a very good topic and I think you guys will enjoy. You guys take care and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye.